In the last video, we covered the special concerns surrounding sensitive data. This video will focus on organizing files so that the right data files are easy to find and access. In this module, we'll look at organizing data files with accessibility in mind. The goal is for you to be aware of strategies that can help you focus on working with your data rather than trying to find files. What do you think of this file name? SAM underscore 126 It looks like the number is a date. It's not a bad idea to have a date as a part of the file name, but this date could be interpreted a number of different ways. Is it 12 June 2011? December 6, 2011, or January 26, 2011. As for the first part of the file name, what exactly is SAM supposed to mean? Is this data from a scanning acoustic microscope, a survey of adolescent mothers, or was the experiment done by SAM the graduate student? This example demonstrates how critical it is to establish a good file name convention. There's an easy solution for dates which is to use the ISO standard to represent the dates as a four-digit year, followed by a two-digit month, followed by a two-digit day. Here are a few simple rules to follow in establishing file naming conventions. The first is that the file name should embody the content of the file. Of course, there are a limitation as to how long you would want to make the file name, but as much as possible, the name should embody the major parameters of the data in the file. It is best to use non-cryptic, intuitive names whenever possible. So data validation rather than datval or dv. Remember that what may seem like a clear shorthand at the beginning of your project may seem very mysterious at some future date. File names should be extensible. If you plan ahead as to how many files there will be, you can choose the number of digits in any file name element for which you are cycling through numbers so that they will sort properly. It's best to avoid having files with the same name, even if they are in different folders. If files get moved around and there are non-unique file names, you run the risk of overwriting data. Do not use any special characters when constructing file names. While you may be creating the file on a platform that allows those special characters, if you move the files to another platform, those special characters may cause issues, such as conflicted copies or corrupt files. It's always safe to use numbers, letters, and underscores in file names. Finally, if you use consistent, documentable names, it will be easy to parse what is in each file and easier for others to decipher. In this example, the file name contains the experiment name, experiment number, sample number, stain, coordinates of image, and stage of data processing. Using a system like this results in a folder that sorts well, and in which it is relatively easy to pick out the different conditions or experiments. Of course, creating a file naming convention that is easily documentable does not preclude the need to actually create that documentation. Simple as a readme file in the directory with the files can prevent a great deal of future confusion. Just as file naming conventions will help you focus on working with the data rather than finding files, Planning out your workflow in advance will help you avoid unneeded work and backtracking. Documentation of those types of experimental protocols ensure that others can fully understand and reproduce the research done. This would most easily be described as making sure things don't fall through the cracks. That is why it's important to assign one person to be responsible for ensuring that any naming conventions that have been established for files or variables are being adhered to that some minimum level of documentation is being recorded, and that version controls are being followed, and of course, that data is always being backed up. If that one person is you, try creating a schedule or checklist of when you will perform these quality control tasks. This video addressed organizing your files for ready access. The next video will cover appropriate storage options for your data.